Thanks for the introduction, and I'm always happy to be part of ETHR World Future School Conference. I was so excited to share my insights and talk about the year that has been, what has we done as Skillsoft, and how has the market responded. Um, clearly, um, no discussion will get started today during the whole day without mentioning the pandemic. Um, so while you will hear the huge boost and learning, the fact was pandemic was devastating, continues to devastate many economies, families, etc. The fact is it was a tough and challenging period for many of us. But I think that if there are two things that got evidence of shaping up better than before was that one was digital. The fact is many of the digital transformation projects, which would have taken next five years to seven years, got accelerated and got done in a matter of months. And again, congratulations to the IT teams, LND professionals, and all of you for the immense amount of acceleration in this digital transformation. Yes, it is indeed important in today's time, as we still work from home, many of us, to be more digital. And there is also the empathy, what we saw around communities coming together during this pandemic, the fact that we lead, led with compassion, generosity, are evidence that we are now more human than perhaps before. So with that, I'll not talk any more about this uh, and move on to what we saw. So in 2021, we saw a huge uptake in learning and I'm sure throughout the rest of today, you will hear different statistics of adoption. So I will not throw those numbers at you right now. What I would like to do is to give you a view of what all was being consumed by Indian enterprises during the last 12 months or more. So clearly there were some themes that you can see emerging. Themes, technology was always there like full stack developer, AI, we are largely a developer economy and IT is, is central in the theme for many things. But more than that, um, my continuous belief that IT is important, but we also need power soft skills. And that's where we saw companies initially focusing on business continuity, increasing collaboration, but then also looking at managing stress, um, how to communicate effectively, virtually, working remotely. Resilience and perseverance emerged as big themes. So was working remotely. And while building relationships in virtual world was difficult, people were acquiring new skills to do it more effectively. People were always having this competence, but now the intent was to develop conscious competence in areas of negotiations, or communications, or presentations, or work life balance, and digital transformation, etc. Unconscious bias, diversity, inclusion continue to be important, as important as data visualization and AI. So, with that, you can just imagine that there was a whole suite of things that was being consumed by the enterprise across technology, as well as soft skills, collaboration skills, communication skills, and more. And yet we continue to hear, and you will hear more about this throughout the day by different speakers, that yes, the level of automation got leaps and bounds enhanced during this period. Anything that could be automated is being automated. And that sometimes is a concern. I like to quote uh, from World Economic Forum founder saying that it's critical that business play an active role in this upskill, that employees on the other hand, take ownership of their skill sets and become lifelong learners. And that will create and government should do enough to facilitate this workforce transformation um, as we become a more 
idea centric economy a more digital centric economy i have heard words like every business is underpinned by technology it's more true now than before um so yes all that is there but today i want to give you a different insight you see during this last 12 months i believe each one of you at different levels have been bombarded really with courses and learnings and webinars and master classes and technology buzzwords coming at you every day um in some cases it can even cause some anxiety to keep up um it can even cause some level of trying to go through every information possible um i would like to offer a different view i have seen companies during this time working on marketplace kind of an approach throwing all kind of content uh, at their employees and ensuring that some of this gets taken up my view is a little different and that's what i wanted to tell you today the fact is everybody is throwing content everywhere there is content everywhere there is too much of it there is fatigue setting in as well what really is uh, matters for adoption for transformation is not a blind approach to throwing everything and anything at your learners it requires focus it requires yes you want to accelerate but you want to accelerate with some focus in mind some strategy in mind having a learning strategy looking at heavy amount of curation looking at role based curations for employees looking and taking into account their aspirations but as well as the business outcomes that you want to drive so i would argue and really put forth the point that it is not about how much people were learning what all new things came up yes those are important but what will give you results is curation quality of content right curating it to the extent possible for that role ensuring people don't have time really um they have jobs to do so making it micro learning based 5 minutes module gone are the era of hour long sessions right now so in my mind the name of the game is really focused acceleration managing both the long term career development as well as day to day experience of work that you do now we saw some trends emerging in this areas as well so if you look at it of course we had growth in collaboration and technology and the percentage of humongous and you will have been a better percentage elsewhere and so on and so forth it doesn't matter what really matters is we saw that content quality matters right and i'll talk a little bit more about that but different if it is immersive hyper personalized we saw with our own way we consume media today that the better the content quality the better was the adoption better was the intake better was the retention and finally better was the outcome that was got curation 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 can't be stated we also saw organizations really providing the best and then taking a step back um using the technology to drive adoption and engagement and stuff like that lesser the intervention the better the adoption in some cases which is weird i know but that's how it was in some cases because naturally people were anxiety had anxieties they were worried they wanted to be relevant to the industry they wanted to secure their jobs so they had a natural tendency to learn consumerization is happening in this e-learning world as well and in fact in last one and a half years it has increased the pace of it what was important is not only to learn in the flow of work in shorter modules but also apply that skill practice get mentors coaches to work with you to see that ultimately you get the value realization of that learning as individuals and as organization measured well through kpis and demonstrate that roi not only to your management and business but also to your cfos and leadership so that they see the value emerging from the investments they are making 
So the theme today was really about building blocks for future skills. So I wanted to share with you how we are doing at Skillsoft. What we have seen is really the four categories that we have been expanding of late. One was around employee engagement. So having that LXP layer in our portfolio, which allows you to basically get that right experience in front of the learners, curating the playlists, channels, banners, all of those stuff were very, very important. Micro learning, I can't emphasize, we have so little time. The shorter the session, the better the outcome. Call it whatever, bite-sized learning, et cetera, et cetera. Learning in the flow of work always was important, still is. Digital batches was a new thing that came in. It's blockchain-based technology. It allowed people to focus on course completion. It motivated users to complete the course and share those badges. It gave them recognition and peer validation. Very, very important to drive that course completion that often is a worry for l and professionals. And finally, AI-driven recommendations, et cetera. Those technologies are improving. On the learning, we saw democratization of learning to a larger extent where there were less interventions, as I spoke about, from l and and intervention was all about curation. Um, there were aspired journeys, a lot of it, even around roles like digital marketing, customer success roles, sales roles, and technology roles. Uh, technology always was key. We're producing more than 1,000 hours uh, plus technology content every month and more. People were still preferring to read books sometimes. And so ebooks and book summaries and audio continues to be important. Leadership gained new, new meaning in, as well as new context. And we saw a huge amount of focus on developing leadership, not only at the leadership level, but down below at first line managers and even below to high potential individuals. And finally, business productivity was always important. But from a cultural point of view, as I said, tremendous interest in building resilience and persuasion skills. Building, also being conscious about ethics and standards of business. Regulatory compliance is important. We also saw in work remotely, there was a huge need for protecting your data and cyber. There was also continued deployment of diversity, unconscious bias, inclusion, all those sort of things, more either at an awareness level or enforced through compliance, including sexual harassment. Finally, I think we took a major step towards providing more practice uh, as e-learning themselves evolved. So 1,000 plus cloud labs and sandboxes, certification preps, TND boot camps, live mentors, and virtual ILT blended journeys, custom journeys for your employees. Those were the things that we were busy doing with our customers. And at the same time, we were looking at continue to be enterprise grade, creating a safe place to learn, continue to develop content. And I'll talk a little more about it, curating, giving that ROI, ensuring there are good partnerships and building more custom journeys with custom content. Those were some of the things we were doing for the last 12 months. And the results were clearly there. Take that example of Deutsche Telekom. It took them a week to surpass what they did for the whole year uh, previously across the globe, uh, working remotely in 10 countries. Now, as I said, let me come back to that theme that I talked about, focused acceleration. And let me talk about a few of these things like quality, curation, and practice. We have seen in general is that most organizations in some form or other have already embarked on the journey for building digital dexterity, for leveraging this idea economy or digital economy as you call it, whether it was in team collaboration mindsets, growth mindset, problem solving, critical thinking, data literacy, um, digital dexterous mindsets, et cetera, are some of the competencies expected out of every function in the enterprise. And many companies are well in their adoption of digital transformations. 
I spoke so much about quality, right? And, and I believe that quality matters in engagement, quality matters in experience, quality matters in adoption, quality matters in retention, and quality matters finally in driving outcomes. Uh, gone are the days when you hear one hour long speeches or the slide and voiceover or poor animation. That just doesn't cut it anymore. Because in our personal lives, we are consuming this high grade quality content coming from Hotstar, Netflix, et cetera, et cetera. Our learning should be similar, with similar production values, captivating, pragmatic, micro-sized, best-in-class, contextualized, storytelling, et cetera, et cetera. And at the same time, if you really look at it, putting the science behind this instructional design. So from my perspective, quality matters. And the next thing that I spoke about was curation. It's very important because content is everywhere. A lot of content is being developed. What matters is what matters to that employee for that role, for that particular uh, aspiration of that employee. So those are important aspects as well. Finally, I talked about practicing and we saw that there was a lot of practice tools that we developed and offered to our enterprise customers, whether it was lab environments around data visualization, machine learning, DevOps, security, certifications, etc. But we also worked on cloud labs and sandboxes where they can deploy without it being in production or test environments. So more than 35, 40 odd sandbox environments. Now these are practice, practical ways of testing your competency, executing it in a safe environment and learning. Finally, I think one of the key things which always every l and professional has told me in my three years at Skillsoft is that ROI and value realization is the most important thing. And towards that, we curated dashboards, automated it, and made it real-time available to ensure that every customer of ours, as well as individuals, can measure what are they learning. It's not about quantity anymore. It's about course completion. It's about getting that practice. It's about developing competencies. Um, that value realization was something which was cost-benefit analysis, ROIs, value to the organization, future skill workforce readiness, all of them automated through dashboards available to every customer. That was important. Finally, you all know Skillsoft, so I'll not talk about this. We continue to grow, become bigger, got listed in New York Stock Exchange, acquired global knowledge, for I, which is a ILT, TND ILT company. And I believe with that, that we continue to believe that every person has the potential to be amazing. We need to facilitate the right technology and then take a step back and let technology drive those fantastic results. So with that, thank you very much for the time for your session. Appreciate the attention and would be very happy to respond to your chats, queries and messages that are coming in. But even outside this forum, do connect with us in Facebook or Twitter. Love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead. Tons of interesting sessions coming up next. Bye.